Today I will demonstrate how to create a 508 compliant closed caption in Adobe Captivate. I'll be using Captivate 8 for this demonstration. First, open your Captivate project. You'll need to have an audio track before you can append any closed captioning. So let's go ahead and record one now. I'll scroll on up and click on record. And then once I'm inside the slide audio, I'll go ahead and click record again. This is the landing page for Skillsoft. Links are currently uncategorized. Okay, I went ahead and I ripped uh, a quick track for this slide. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'll click on edit just so I can reduce the white space out. And now we can see that the beginning of this wave right here is right when I first started talking. So the next thing I'm gonna do is if you look up on the top, there's a tab called closed captioning. Go ahead and click on that. So you can still see the whole audio track here. And what I want to do is I want to click in the space so that I'm right at the beginning of that wave when I first started talking. Now below you're going to see that there's a plus and a minus sign. Go ahead and click on the plus. And notice that there's a start and an end time column that's there. The start time is actually the time that your track head is currently on right now. So by clicking inside of the space, we'll tell uh, all new entries that happen in your closed caption where it should actually start putting the closed captioning text, right? So um, the first thing I said was, um, this is the landing page for Skillsoft. So let's go ahead and type that in. All right, now I'm gonna move along and I can see my, sec my second sentence now starts right about here. So I'll go ahead and click on that space to have my track head there. I'll click on the plus sign and then notice again it's now advancing that start time to write about here. So as I start my second sentence I want this sentence to appear. So the second thing I said was, was links are currently uncategorized. Links are currently uncategorized. All right. So now I have two sentences and I have two closed captions in roughly the same spot. If I want to play it back, I can. This is the landing page for Skillsoft. Links are currently uncategorized. Notice how it tracked the closed caption text for you inside of the screen. So this is a way of being able to just spot check it to make sure it's cascading and flowing correctly. If I'm happy with what I have here, I can go ahead and click on the closed caption project settings. When I do that, it's going to give me this pop-up box. And what this does is it defines how your closed caption settings should be. I always like doing what you see here. In other words, I'll keep it at three lines, which means that three lines of viewable text will be available inside of the closed captioning. Uh, I'll have a black background and I'll use white color text. The reason I do these things is because the text readers um, tend to not have any problems with this. It's very high contrast, it's easy to read, uh, and even for those that do have um, adequate eyesight, it's still easy to look at. Um, I always use the Times uh, New Roman uh, fonts, and then the other thing I'll do is I'll make sure that it's at least 24 to 26. If it gets too large, uh, then it starts occupying too much of the space for your video, and you don't want that. So uh, 24 tends to be satisfactory for most of the screen readers. Even though I have three lines of text, uh, I try to limit my sentences so that only one line is being occupied. Um, you, you try not to go over um, two lines it just it's um, it's visually unappealing and it takes up real estate on on your video so uh, although I have three lines set up for this I always try to keep my sentences short and brief and if I have to break something up like if I have a run-on sentence or just a really long sentence um, try, just try to find the natural pause in your sentence structure and then add a second line and put that track head to where that natural pause was at okay I like what I see here I'm gonna go ahead and save it so now the last thing you have to do is you actually have to control the actual project skin editor. So I clicked on project and I'm going to click on the skin editor. And this part, last part's important because uh, typically when you install Adobe Captivate, closed captioning is not activated. So if you look on the lower left hand side of the screen, there's a closed captioning 
area. Uh, by default, this is normally not checked. Uh, I have it um, always checked in mine. So um, what it's going to do is it's going to provide you this little closed caption button inside of your skin. All right. Let's go ahead and preview our project. This is the landing page for Skillsoft. Links are currently uncategorized. All right, it's that simple. I hope you found this useful.